In this video, we are going to show you how sweet CRM email to case works. In the admin section, go to the module loader. Here, you'll see sweet CRM email to case is installed. After installation, you'll see an email to anything section at the bottom. The first step is license activation, which will be activated automatically. The second step is email configuration. We've already configured email, so we'll go to step 3. This is our configured email address to receive support emails. In step 4, you can check the receiver settings. This is our default receiver which will be created automatically. Here, you can see the primary target module is contacts and the secondary target module is cases. Currently, the contacts module has no records and neither does the cases module. Now, we'll send an email to the configured support email address. This is the subject and email body content. Here is the sender's detail, which will be saved as a contact in Suite CRM. As we send this email, within a few seconds you'll hear a voice alert notification. Let's hey, hear it. a new case has been created. Customer name, Mohit Sharma. Case subject, smartphone issue, urgent help needed. Case details, hello ABC Electronics support team. I hope this email finds you well. Please assign this case to any agent ask them to accept it when start working. We're using AWS Poly for this voice, you can use IBM Watson, Google Cloud, or Microsoft Azure. On refreshing the page, you can see a new contact by fetching the sender's name and email address. Now, we'll go to the cases module and refresh the page. You'll see a case is created. It has a case number with a prefix, department, color configured status, email subject, related contact, and priority. As soon as the case is created the customer will receive a case creation email. The subject will include the case number. This is the case number and in the email body, you'll see the subject, department, status, and priority. Click on the notification to go to the detail view. This is the first email that the customer sent. This is the customer's email address. This is the email subject. Other information like case number, related contact, and support email address. This is the thread box. Since the case is not assigned to any agent, it's not possible to reply to it. To do this, go to Edit View and assign this case to a customer support agent. Click on the Save button. After that, the support agent needs to click on the Start Working on This Case button at the top to accept the case. In the Case Timeline and Status panel, you can see the case accepted time and actual work time which is started after the customer support agent clicks on the top button. Now the customer support agent will be able to reply to customer's emails through this box. The support agent needs to click on the send button. The email will appear as a threaded conversation. In real time, the customer will also get this reply from the agent in the same original thread. In the next turn, the customer will reply to this email on the same email thread. Within a few seconds, the customer support agent will receive a voice alert notification just like this. Hey administrator, case number 15 has been updated. Case details, dash subject, smartphone issue, urgent help needed. Case colon 15. Description, yes please, it's urgent. On Friday, July 21st, 2023 at 12.07 p. Support agents can click on the notification to directly jump to the latest email of that particular case. The latest email will be highlighted with a new tag and also in the same thread. Support agents can also add an internal message by checking on the internal option. This message will not be sent to the customer as an email, it's for internal use only. As you can see, the internal email is not in the email thread. Now, we'll send another email from the support agent's side. Customers will reply to the email showing their satisfaction. 
Just like before, we'll get a voice alert notification of this email as well. Hey administrator, case number 15 has been updated. Case details, dash subject, smartphone issue, urgent help needed. Case colon 15, case details, okay, thanks for the instant response. On Friday, July 21, 2023 at 12.07 p. Click on the email and jump directly to the latest email in the thread. Now, the support agent will send the final resolution email to the customer. And later on, the agent will go to the edit view and change the state of the case to close. In the case timeline and status panel, you can see, the case closed on time, the case closed by, whose last response was on this case, and the actual work time is also updating in real time. Go to the list view, you'll the color configuration is also changed based on the status. However, if the customer is not satisfied with the resolution or their issue is not resolved yet then they can reply to the original email thread. This will reopen the case in the suite CRM. As you can see here, we've got a voice hey, alert notification for the same case. Case number 15 has been updated. Case details, dash subject, smartphone issue, urgent help needed. Case colon 15. Description, still facing the same issue, technician not arrived yet. On. Please take necessary actions as needed. On refreshing the page, you can see the status has changed from closed to assigned. In the detail view, you can see the latest email from the customer. In the case timeline and status panel, you can see how many times this case is reopened, who reopened the case, and other information. You can set the color configuration by going to the admin section and selecting the set colors for the list view for any module option. Here, you can set the color for any module and field just like we did for the status field of the case module.